Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? I hope you enjoyed the last video uh, about the mesh class. No, about the material class, I'm sorry. The mesh class is coming next, but not this video, sadly. This video is about just really simply just cleaning up the fragment shader. Okay, so this is going to be a very short video, and this is basically just to show you that you can make functions here. And now you're like, oh, you don't need to make a whole video about this, but I, I think I do. I think it's worth mentioning. And just worth worth mentioning that we'll get into uh, different types of things that you can change up here. Like you can make arrays for these um, in and out variables, and uh, you can make uh, uniform arrays you can you can make a bunch of stuff it's a little more complicated but we'll get into that in the future way ahead when uh, when we don't have to when we when we get used to open a little more plus uh, <coughs> I need to brush up on <coughs> all that stuff but still never mind uh, but we'll make a, a function here uh, for uh, for ambient light so making our functions we'll just make a little uh, little comment here functions and then we'll have a little comment here for uniforms so we have some uniforms some functions just have everything ordered in and out uh, fine so let's make our function so this function is just gonna calculate our final diffuse color and it's gonna give it back to us okay so what it's just a function just like in C++ no different it's gonna return a vec3 the function is gonna be called cal Calculate ambient. Now there isn't much to calculate in ambient, so this is a good simple function just to start off with. And we're gonna send in a material material. And we're gonna just create it like that. And then we're gonna say return material.ambient. So this isn't really a useful function in that sense. It's more that it's um, it's nice, you know, it's just something, it's just a function. If you want to add stuff to it, you can do it if you want. So our ambient light is going to be ambient light. It's supposed to be called ambient final. So we're going to change the name of it. Ambient final equals calculate am ambient. Just like that, calculate ambient. And then we'll say ambient final. If you want, you can directly make it into a uh, VEC4, but this, I feel more comfortable like this because I can customize this if I want to, whatever, but you can you can make it a VEC4 here if you want. Um, and you can make this a VEC4 as well, just return this whole thing as a VEC4. But I'll just do it like this. Now let me run this and see, so we don't get a crash, probably will. Yes, uh, too few parameters in function call because I'm dumb. Um, material like this. At least it found our function. Uh, there we go. So that worked. Boom. So it'll calculate our material and it'll send it back to us. Now the, our our goal in calculate diffuse back three calculate diffuse is gonna be material material just like that. It's gonna be to actually do this and just send everything back. Um, so now we need to know what what do we need to send in we need to send in VS position we need to send in light position uh, diffuse color so let me just look at this up here we need to send in material obviously and we need to send in VS position which is a uh, what is it a back three back three yes position Vec3 light pulse zero. Uh, diffuse color fine. Wait, no, diffuse color isn't needed anymore because we have material dot diffuse. Um, float diffuse clamp post to light there vec. That's fine. Vs normal. Vs so the way I want to do this, I want to I want to first send in. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I want to send in. Okay, I want to send in position. I want to send in all these. So VS position, VS normal, VS normal, which is a vec3, VS normal. Um, and that's it. 
I guess that's it. Return diffuse final. Fill in. That's great. Diff man, get the hell out of my life, dude. There we go. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. So uh, that's all we need. We need the material position, normal light position. Position material dot diffuse. Okay. And let's go down here. Diffuse light diffuse final equals calculate diffuse and then material. We need the VS position, VS normal, light pos zero, and boom. Remove all of this. Calculate diffuse material VS position. Okay, and if I run this, will it crash and burn? Nope, it worked. So our diffuse calculation is running through our function. Okay, now if you're on, I think if you're on uh, Visual Studio, you can, how do you do that again? Yeah. You can actually minimize it, but whatever, I'll, I'll look into that later. Anyway, we need to make a VEC3 calculate specular material material. And then we're obviously gonna need VS VEC3 VS position, VEC3 VS normal. And then we're gonna need a bunch of more stuff. Just copy paste this in here, uh, right in here. Uh, like this and let's see so we have light to posterior vec normalize light position zero is something we need vec three light post zero we have vs position light to posterior vec that's that one normalize vs normal vs position camera position vec three camera position then we need post to view that's the one we created. Reflect Dervec is created. Material specular, find specular constant. So material is in there. So there we go. We have everything we need. Um, there we go. Specular final, return specular final. Like that. And then specular final will just be calculate specular material. VS position, VS normal, uh, light plus zero, camera position. I think that's it. Normal light position, camera position. Okay, that's it. So I can just remove all this again. And then attenuation we'll talk about later on. But for now, that worked. That worked perfectly. I'd say boom and if I if I remove the specular I think something's gonna break specular final oh sorry wait there we go if I remove that we should have something that does not have specular and easy peasy so what this does is sure this gets a little uh, cluster cluttered up here but down here in the main function, it's not that cluttered. We have a bunch of stuff. We can cal calculate uh, the diffuse for several several different lights, and we can add them together easily by changing this light position. Uh, we can calculate a bunch of different things here just using the function. So this is how you make functions. It's just like in C++. Basically, type, return type, name, and parameters. Just like that. That's the function header, and for the body, return statements and other statements. So that's it. That's how easily we just uh, divided everything up into functions. Later, we'll talk about how to divide these into arrays and all all kinds of stuff. But for now, this is good. And I hope you guys and girls learned something from this. This wasn't a really long video, and I can't speak properly today. Thanks for sticking with me anyway. Um, so yeah, keep working, keep working hard. Best of luck with everything. Thank you for watching and all the support. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye-bye.